he became a human for our salvation. In that spot where we are going now, in that place where God incarnated himself in Jesus Christ, and he became a human for our salvation. So we will be entering the church to the humanity we name it. I will tell you why the money mind is like that. The first reason that we have to bow for the church kind of respect. Second reason is to prevent horsemen to enter the church of their horses. So when we talk about Bethlehem, we talk about the city, the ancient city, the church, the place of Jesus. So the, the church of the city is the feature of the city of Bethlehem, where Jesus Christ was born, where we believe in that spot for God did themselves in Jesus Christ. The church of the Nativity one, uh, one of the oldest churches, which was built over the fourth century, over which was uh, built over the person of Jesus in the time of the fourth century, the Helen. Helen, she was the mother of the Constantinople. She built it over the person of the person of Jesus to commemorate the birth, the birth of Jesus from that side. So we have two periods of building of that church, the 4th century and the 6th century by, by Justinian, the new the, the Byzantine emperor, because the 4th century church was destroyed by Samaritans at the time of 529. So 532, which is 6th century, though the church has been uh, rebuilt again and they named it during the church. During what time? 6th century, 532. And they named it with the church of the Nativity, 6th century. And the end of the church was picked in half of our city of the first entrance of the second church. It's the uh, fourth century door has been minimized in the second half. It's been minimized like that, as we can see it now, with very small and tiny entrance. We have to bow before it. Yeah. I'm going to be entering from here, going to see that cave, the church of Jesus. You see the three churches, the Catholic Church, the Armenian Church, and the Greek Orthodox Church. There are three Christian denominations running that church, the Greek, Armenian Orthodox, and the Roman Catholic. And the Catholic Church is the only Orthodox Church. That's the Catholic Church. Where the Christmas Masses are celebrated. Let's enter, please.